We're about to do something crazy. This episode is sponsored by our new website, tothedirt.com. Grab a patch, a decal, or a t-shirt and join the crew. To celebrate the new website and also new merch dropping in 2024, we're going to do a giveaway in this video. We've hidden several special codes and each code corresponds to a prize. So the first person to message me one of those codes will win that corresponding prize, only one prize per viewer. Those prizes include a custom to the dirt go bag, a radio, and other swag found only on to the dirt.com. So with that, stay tuned, pay attention, enjoy, and we'll get back to the episode. To the dirt. The Bilstein 8112s are some of the most advanced and feature packed shocks on the market. They look great on the outside, and as many of your moms have told you, it's what's on the inside that really matters. <laughs> so after running these shocks as our daily driver for the past 2,000 miles on-road and off-road, it's time to do a more in-depth review and see what makes these so special and worth the money. So we're about to do something crazy. Hey, you know what they say. When in doubt, whip it out? No. Safety first. Oh. Oh. There we go. As everybody knows, the fastest way to take a spring off a coilover is with a grinder. I'm sure my wife is happy that I launched. I mean, disassembled the spring outside, but it's way too hot out there, so we're here in the RLT garage for the delicate work. So I've got the 8112 depressurized and clamped down on the table for the next operation. So let's carefully disassemble this thing and see what kind of magic is hidden inside. I don't think so. Scalpel. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I said put your eye protection on. Wow, so uh, that's a bit too complicated for me, so we're gonna toss this to a resident scientist to explain better than I can. Hi, I'm Bill Stein, the science. <laughs> My lawyer, hold on. Mickey Mouse said what? I can't do what? I gotta change my shtick? All right. I'm Bill Stein, the suspension guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Stein, the suspension guy. I'm like the other guy, just less nerdy and down to get dirty. And just like the Bill Stein 8112, I have German heritage, but was made in the USA. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Prost! <sighs> Speaking of which, I should be receiving a freshly dissected 8112 at any time. Incoming! That's more like it. Well, it doesn't take a genius to explain how this beautiful and complicated shock works. Hey, can you bring that in over here? Holy day. Thanks, Einstein. With the 8112, you have a shock that's the best of both worlds. It's great for on-road and for off-road. This is accomplished thanks to Bilstein's triple piston technology and the same zone control found in their race shocks. So what this means is you have the ultimate direct fit coilover for people that daily drive their rigs and that go to the dirt. So let's take a closer look and see how zone control actually works. So here you can see the three pistons. This is the main piston. This is a 60 millimeter digressive piston. On top of that, we have the secondary compression piston, and below that is the secondary rebound piston. Now, the middle zone, the piston can travel about 2.5 inches before reaching either of the secondary compression zones or secondary rebound zones. So the, the main piston does most of your daily driving on-road and off-road, making sure that you have a nice firm controlled ride while also isolating the body from the suspension. Now, as soon as you have a large suspension input, that's when the secondary piston comes into play. So as soon as that enters this first stage of the telescoping bump stop, that's when zone two of the compression begins. So that's the start. That's when the oil pressure starts to ramp up and it moves through that some distance. And that's the end of zone two. The oil pressure 
will increase exponentially. And then for even larger impacts, this first stage of the secondary compression bump stop, we call this a flask. When the inner flask enters and collapses in on the main flask, that's when you essentially have a hydraulic bump stop come into play. So that pretty much eliminates the need for an external bump stop. Pretty cool. So as we're moving through the rebound travel, that's all controlled by the 60 millimeter digressive piston. And when that secondary piston enters the rebound cutoff, this little area right here, that's when you have a exponential increase in oil pressure on the rebound side. And then you smoothly decelerate the spring and have nice suspension deceleration, avoiding top outs. So here we are in zone one, start of zone two, and then start of zone three for compression, zone one for rebound, and then the start of zone two, a nice deceleration, avoiding any kind of top out. Pretty incredible engineering from the team over at Bilstein. So Bilstein refers to this as the jounce cutoff, the JCO. And on this end, we have the rebound cutoff or the RCO. Bottom out control and top out control. This is the technology that can make your daily driver into an off-road beast. So that was a quick look at the Bilstein 8112 and zone control. If you have any more technical questions for us or want to know more about how this works, leave a comment below. And now we're going to send this back to Rob and hopefully he can put it back together. Thanks, Bill. That was educational. Well, that's a wrap for this episode of To The Dirt. I've learned it's a lot tougher to put things back together than it is to take them apart. So as a wise man once told me, when in doubt, ship it out for warranty work. Until next time, to the dirt. Take 69. To the dirt. And as many of your moms have told you, it's what matters on the inside that counts the most. <laughs> and as many of your moms have told you, it's what... Then you had it. I it's teleprompter. It's what... Oh my goodness. It's what's on the inside that really matters. I wrote my own script. Three, two, one. In depth review.